things must come to an end. And I was going to go for a ride today because it's actually not too bad. A little bit breezy, overcast, but it's a good day for riding. Um, I was going to go take a little bit of a new trail today. But um, like I said, all good things must come to an end. And this happened. Yeah, so that's supposed to be attached. Ah, managed to get it back in the truck just because it's the rear diff. <laughs> Funny thing is, I I was just trying to do some wheelies, so I wasn't going through any mud holes. I literally I I came and I parked my truck here and I did a couple wheelies and then and just did uh, just dunk. I was like, oh. There goes my axle. I knew it. I knew it instantly. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure axles aren't too hard to get for this thing, but... Yeah. She broke. She is, uh... Fully disconnected. And there should be a piece right here. <laughs> First axle had broken, to be honest. People said for sure when you put those 30 inch silverbacks on, you're gonna be breaking axles left, right, and center. And it's been a year and a half, and this is the first one I've broken. So I'm gonna consider myself lucky. Really, it's not that bad, honestly. Would have been a good day to ride today too. Oh well. Back to the garage, fix it. Go for a ride on Sunday. Like I said, it's, it is Friday, April the, what day is it today? I don't even know. I'm on days off, so I don't even know. Friday, April the 12th, I break it. And this Sunday, two days from now, I gotta go for a ride. That axle is mush. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll find another one, replace. So that was my day. I came out here, did a couple wheelies, and I broke an axle. So, the Grizzly is down for now. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. God, that's broken. <laughs> she broke! Well, it's time to replace the axle that couldn't. I don't think it's supposed to be up there. I think it's supposed to be like right in here. Broken, so. Let's replace stuff. why my rear diff, well sorry not the diff, my rear left axle broke. Um, it wouldn't have broke, but due to this, that's an issue. So that little bit of flex, it's a lot more pressure on that cup. And that's what broke it. I guarantee you, that's what broke it. 
Live and learn now. Check my diff bolts, I guess. Every time I go riding. And I guess that goes for everybody. Check your diffs. Check the bolts. Because that could be a reason why you're snapping axles. Got some, it's got some heft. Let us install it. And by us installing it, I mean me. And a one, and a two, and a three. That's all it took. All I had to do was take apart the whole other side of my quad just to get this piece out. And of course, it's still going to fight me. You're going to fight me all the way in, aren't you? There we go. There it is. Right broke. You can see the difference between the uh, between the demon axle and the factory axle. And it's time to put this jalopy back together. Holy man, I did not expect it to be this much work. But such is working on your own quad and breaking your quad, which I'm very good at breaking my. All right, I'll catch you when I start putting stuff back together. <laughs>